I want to start off by thanking everybody that came today for this brilliant community start organised by my best friend, my childhood friend, my right hand man, uh, Shay, we all know him, who's been there since day one. He was with me in the Labour Party, he always financed our campaigns in the Labour Party. After I resigned, he resigned from the Labour Party. I want to thank our chief guest, Ahmed Jakub. He doesn't need an introduction. So, he's your next West Midlands mayor. I was going for West Yorkshire mayor. Yesterday in Leeds at the City Hall, I met Jonathan Lint, who is also standing independent as mayor. Now, Jonathan and I had a chat, and I think he's the better man for the job. So that's why I decided to take a step back and let one independent go instead of dividing the walk. Since the 17th of January, across, across Kirklees, there's been a mass earthquake. People in our community are saying, I'm the divider. I haven't divided anybody. I've united everybody. I proved it tonight. I proved it in London. Across the country, I proved it. That I'm a man of unity. Everybody today, take this message back. You need to look at the 20 years of labour failure in our areas. What has been done for our community? What has been done for the youth? There's mass drug dealing going on. There's so many other issues that are affecting our area. There's no youth services till I left high school 16 years ago. That was the last youth club in Ravensall. What have our leaders been doing? You elect us, we're your public servants. You should ask us, you should hold us accountable to what have you been doing. I've been a councillor for two years. I am ready to sit on the table. I am challenging the Labour councillors, past and present. Come sit on the opposite side and let's talk and let's Apart from what well, I'll tell you what they've been doing, apart from their own self-serving interests of themselves and their families, they have neglected the people of Dewsbury West. And inshallah on May the 2nd, when my candidate, Tanisha Bramwell, is elected, me and her will be the loudest voice in Kirkley's chamber. I am going to rock that place to the ground. Inshallah. inshallah. And inshallah, come November, I am going to be your next MP for Dewsbury. I'm going to be the first Dewsbury-born MP. We've never had an MP that has ever been from Dewsbury. We've always had imported MPs. <laughs> imported, yes. <laughs> We've always yes, had imported MPs. Because they were all picking it up, all they? <laughs> and now you will have the chance, whenever the general election is, to have your son, your brother, as your voice in Parliament. When I go in Parliament with Ahmed Yacoub, alongside George Galloway, Jeremy Corbyn, just imagine that. Inshallah. Just imagine that scene. <laughs> when Keir Starmer sees me walking in with a Cuban cigar. <laughs> you know, I will be saving him a bit for that. So inshallah, guys, the message is simple. We're doing this for our community. We're doing, doing it for the greater cause of Palestine. In the these it mentions, when you see injustices going on around the world, you should speak for it. If you can't speak for it, you should fight for it. If you can't fight for it, you should be aid for it. If you can't aid for it, you shouldn't be complicit. And that's what exactly these Labour and Tory members have been doing. And this division in the community isn't a division. It's a unity that I've made. My house, as you all know, before I was a councillor, I was there for my community. Now I'm a councillor, I'm still there. Even tomorrow when I'm not a councillor, I'll still be the same. I do not need a seat to be my voice. I was your voice before I became every, anything. And I'm going to continue doing that. Inshallah, until Allah has blessed me with this ruin, my butt, I am there for you guys. Inshallah. And people like Ahmed, uncle, that has served the community for 50 years, free of charge. He never asked for a position in the Labour Party. He made the Labour Party. People like Uncle Najabat, who made the Labour Party, who made the likes of Muntaz Hussain, who made the likes of Darren O'Donovan, who made the likes of Musada Pervez. And what did they do to him? 
you all know I don't need to go into any nitty gritty uh, details for one person that ended Uncle Najabat, but Uncle Najabat is with me now. Uncle Afsar is with me. Inshallah, the whole community is with me, and on May the second, they will go and vote Tanisha Bramwell. Like I was number one at the ballot box, and I proved I'm your number one councillor. So will Tanisha Bramwell be number one at the ballot box, and she will prove to you all guys within six months what we can achieve in Dewsbury West. Our areas have always been deprived because these councillors cannot even raise their voice. They cannot shrink. Uh, English sentence together. They cannot even pronounce their own name in the chambers. <laughs> this is the representation we have. And now it's a different norm of politics in Dewsbury. I've learned from the best of the best in politics, from Pakistan to Britain. My biggest mentor and guide was Shaid Malik. He's still on my side. He still talks to me. He still helps me in my political uh, life. And I appreciate that. So, inshallah, them are the people that I've learned politics from, and you can see my politics. I've got no self-gain in this. They've ended our ward budgets. Dewsbury West Football Club was suffering. I donated a thousand pounds from my son. I've already committed, if I'm elected MP, 40,000 pounds of my salary is going to come to the most deprived areas in Batley and Dewsbury. I'm not in it for the money, alhamdulillah. I've got a good supporting network, my brothers support me, I've got good family. I don't need cars and I don't need money and I don't need houses. Alhamdulillah, I'll tell you a bit about myself. I don't own a house, neither in Britain, neither abroad. I've never built anything in my life. Alhamdulillah, my brothers, my father have done everything for me. And I don't need to do anything for myself. That's the person I am. So this may, guys, come out and vote for your Iman. This is to get your Iman refreshed. And inshallah on May the 2nd, when I stand outside Dewsbury Town Hall and congratulate our new elected mayor in West Midlands. And I, wanna, I will be congratulating every single independent across the country. Because this movement is for humanity. We all are human. And we share humanity. That's the most common thing. We have, exactly. and inshallah, I don't want to take uh, so much of your time. Uncle is going to say a few words, and then our chief guest. And tonight, guys, uh, Purpose of Life could be here with us. They're in Manchester, so we're doing a collection. Whatever anybody wants to donate for them, we're building a house in <coughs> Pakistan. Uh, three widows. They lost their uh, all husbands within a matter of six months. Uh, I built them the structure last year, all our family did. This year we need to roof them. So the target is £4,000. I've already uh, been donated £1,400. And 50% uh, is going to go to there once the target is achieved, and 50% will go to Purpose of Life. What was that, Chief? The Bali Mosque. Yeah, and uh, Bali's Mosque as well, if anybody wants to donate for him. So uh, that's why this community if that was brought together. And I want to. It thank wasn't for. No, it, it was, was non-political. Non-political. What they've been saying. What they've been saying. I'm going to say that. So it w this was meant to be a non-political event, like he said on no, the leaflet. Before you say this, make sure people listen to this. Yeah, because people are going to. This is more, most crucial. What's been going on tonight? Whilst this event has been going on, so the Labour Zionist group have been making phone calls around the community and telling people not so to come So they're splitting the community. No, who's not? They want to come. They're divided. Yeah. So Alhamdulillah, still. Uh, I appreciate all my community that have come and shown the love for me and our chief guest from Birmingham. You know, they should be ashamed of themselves. This wasn't about me, it wasn't about the Labour Party, it wasn't about the Independent Party. This night was about Ahmed Yaqub. That's what the phone calls me going now. This night was about Ahmed Yaqub, it wasn't about anybody else. And we bring communities together. This iftar hasn't happened this year, it's been going on for years. Shane has been doing this iftar every, every year. year. Every, every year it's been going on. So it's not something new. We've been doing this from day one. So the uh, Labour uh, Murda group should know they shouldn't have done this, but they did. They've scooped so low and uh, so down that it's becoming a bit of a... Uh, I haven't got the words to describe them. They're like boot polishers of the Labour Party now. They're not... I mean, you know, to call them the elite forces now is a shame. Using that word to them, elite is a shame. They're boot polishers. That's what they are, guys. And on 2nd of May, give them your boot at the ballot box. Inshallah. Right, guys, thank you very much. Inshallah. Now, Uncle's going to say a few words and then we move on to our chief guest. Anybody else wants to speak? Let me know.